Hey everybody, Nicole Hetty here for Paper Tray Ink, and today I'm going to show you how to make your own custom striped ribbon with Copic markers. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I actually like to create this striped ribbon. Um, I like to use a neutral ribbon. Right here I have our Fresh Snow Grow Grain ribbon. Uh, this is one of my favorites to use, and I also like the Fresh Snow Satin. Um, the fine linen colors work well, and so do the Vintage Cream. Um, I'm going to use a clear ruler so that I can keep track of how far in on the ribbon I am from the edge. And the first color I'm going to use is a B45 Copic sketch marker and I'm actually going to use the broad point to make a nice wide stripe down the center of my ribbon. Now you want to start with the marker upright and then drag it consistently you don't want to stop. You want to go the same speed the entire length of the ribbon, just like so. And then when I move my ruler, you see I have my first stripe. I'm going to move on to YG95 Copic Sketch, and this time I'm using the um, fine tip. And I'm going to line up the ruler right next to the blue, like this. I'm going to go in with that fine tip and I'm going to just very lightly drag it right along the side of the blue stripe that we made earlier, like so. And then I'm going to flip the ribbon around like this and repeat on the other side. Now for an added touch of color, I'm going to use a BG11 Copic with the fine tip and I'm going to add a stripe right along the edge of the white ribbon. I'm just going to take, take it right along the edge like this in one smooth stroke. Flip this over. Do it again with the side. What's the log smooth stroke? The first thing I'm going to do is add two small leaves from turning a new leaf, and I'm using fresh snow ink this. I stamped one in this direction and now I'm turning the image, stamping the second one down here like this. Oops, I didn't get the end of that leaf. I'm going to line it back up and get that there. Just like that. And I'm going to now adhere the ribbon in place to um, create the accent that I'm wanting. I'm going to put a strip of score tape right down the center here of this area I just stamped. It's quarter inch score tape. And I'm going to adhere this ribbon right across like this, and I'm going to trim this so we have that and this striped ribbon that I have left, I'm actually going to cut it in half. And I've got so I've got two little bits here left. You'll notice when you make your own striped ribbon, if you haven't done it before, that the back of the ribbon looks very different from the front. The front side is obviously more vibrant in color. So 
when you're doing this looped ribbon technique you want to make sure you're either using just the front or just the back so I've got my score tape there and I would here this over like so to get this out here I need a little bit more tape to finish it off There are my two ribbon loops right there. And I'm going to create the accent that goes in the center. I have a 1 and 3 eighths inch circle that I've already punched out. Versamark ink and a little patterned block from Bitty Background blocks. And I'm making that up with Versamark and stamping it right on the circle. It just creates a little bit of texture. I would use the Fresh Snow ink pad to just ink a little bit around the edges of the circle. Set that aside. And next I have a piece of Aquamist cardstock. And I have a little image from Mende Medallion. And I'm inking it up in ripe avocado. And I'm going to stamp that right onto my Aquamist cardstock. And then I have a punch from Martha Stewart Crafts. I'm going to use just a little bit of tape right on the back of this butterfly. Give it a little bit of a bed and adhere that to the center of this blue circle that I staped earlier. Now, after I look at that, I think it needs just a little something. So I have some rhinestones here. Now these are a light green color. They're not really the ripe avocado color that I need. So I'm going to take the uh, YG95 Copic that I used earlier and I'm just going to add this to the green rhinestone, one of the green rhinestones and make them a little more avocado colored. And I'm going to use a craft knife to take that rhinestone and put it right in the center of the butterfly. I love building my own embellishments like this. It's so quick and easy. Now that I have that butterfly accent done, before I adhere that, I'm going to go ahead and add my sentiment underneath the ribbon. Just like that. And then I'm going to take some foam squares here and add those to the back of the butterfly embellishment that I created. And add that to the center here. Now, I'm thinking this looks a little bit played, so I'm going to go ahead and ink the edges of this craft block. In hindsight, you know, if I wasn't designing this card as I want a log, I probably should have done that first um, to avoid, you know, this ribbon getting in the way, but we're just going to roll with the flow here. just a little bit. And that just helps the edges pop a little bit. I have an Aquamist card base. It's cut four and a quarter by eleven and then scored in half. And all I'm going to do is just take some adhesive and adhere this into place. And there's your completed card. 
Thank you for joining me for this Make It Monday. I hope perhaps you learned something new that you're anxious to try out, and we look forward to seeing your takes of it in our link list. Thanks for joining me.